Good morning guys. Uh, check out the time. 9.36 and it's Wednesday which is my day with Alfie. Uh, it's uh, not as cold as it was yesterday. Um, we actually had some snow yesterday. <laughs> like uh, you know, for 20 minutes. Uh, and it's a bit warmer today. I didn't do a video yesterday. I wasn't in the right frame of mind. Um, a letter came for me. Um, what a beautiful, short, sweet letter. Um, and I obviously won't uh, go into the letter because it was personal. Um, but it was from a little girl um, and oh, it made me think about things all over again. A little girl I, I was going to visit. Um, yes, and it put me in a thinking mode again. <sighs> thinking about everything that happened prior to me closing my Rawgasmic 8 billion. Um, words, words, words. Uh, words, they limit us, they trap us, they express our frustrations, our dreams, our desires, our thoughts of where we are in the now, in that moment. I get frustrated by words. Um, and one of the things that really blew my mind, I guess, um, in the final days of orgasmic, was being told that messages I had sent personally, and uh, believe me, I don't send a lot of personal messages on YouTube, and if I do, they're never more than a couple of sentences. Um, But to this one person, uh, I was opening up my heart. And when I found, or was told that uh, my personal messages had been sent to other people, oh my God, that was such a betrayal. I, f I felt betrayed. I felt that those who read them had betrayed me. Um, people have sent me personal messages that they've sent to others before and I haven't read them. I haven't wanted to read them. Really. Uh, and I couldn't get my head around that. I, uh, I felt that the way that I had thought when I wrote the words uh, was a betrayal to people I loved here. Um, I found that very, very difficult. Um, all those people who want to read other, others' diaries and things like that, you know, I've never wanted to. I've always thought that our words are, um, <sighs> they're very limited, first of all. Honey, Abby! <whistles> very, very limited. Um, they can't express. Words have no intonation. They have no expression. They are flat symbols that are strung together. And, um, used as the most limited of limited 
um, <sighs> explanations of how we are feeling in a given moment and uh, that doesn't mean that an hour later or even a moment later those words are still going to hold true yeah I found that uh, painful to be honest um, and the other thing about it all was I suppose really it's needing if I if I wanted to I'm very open in my videos I'm very open with my thoughts and my feelings um, but there's lots of stuff I don't tell people lots and lots of stuff and the reason I don't say it is because um, it involves other people who maybe I don't have their permission to uh, talk about their lives or their experiences or or what's going on and so I haven't done it um, but I suppose what I want to say is that uh, I am a lover and a hater of words look at all the shoots coming through absolutely amazing um, they're like cocaine to me um, I need to hear or read or listen or whatever you know it's um it's a drug it's a drug for me and and like someone who's addicted to uh, cocaine or heroin or whatever um, I get such a high from words um, but I need my fix I need my I need my fix during the last few weeks um, of Rorgasmic 8 billion I had gone uh, was going through uh, a horrendous absolutely horrendous time there was so much going on and I might have talked about two or three of the things that were going on at the time but there were others I didn't mention um, <coughs> but I suppose whoo I just slipped in some real slippy mud you just keep going feet <clears throat> um, I wanted to talk about people uh, not about people, to people about my feelings and at the same time uh, my partner Mustafa was going through his own horrendous crises with his sister and his brother um, my home became one where English was not really spoken anymore uh, and I needed desperately to talk to people I needed to overdose on words and I didn't know who I could talk to I didn't want to talk to my children because they were involved in everything they were also experiencing I wanted to I wanted to just open my mouth and and talk and for people to to understand what I was saying and to to use words to to connect with me to not talk at a surface structure not talk about insignificant I wanted to talk deep. I wanted to talk at such a deep level. And there was no one for me to talk to. My mom, she's ill. And she had been going through her own stresses 
at the death of Sue. You know, why should it be her? Why couldn't it have been mom? Those kind of things were going through her mind. My daughter, Sue was her best friend. I can't explain it. And maybe no explanation is needed. I was so looking forward to going to America. Uh, there was three children I wanted to meet. I wanted to hear the saxophone being played. I wanted to make perfumes. I wanted to talk the Beatles lyrics. Yes. I really did. But what I was looking forward to most of all was meeting up with three people who I felt I trusted and had this connection with that was more than just um, a visit to a YouTube channel. I felt such a deep connection with these people and um, I wanted to immerse myself in deep conversation, <sighs> talk about all the questions that plow through your mind and need such a deep understanding of language, a common language to be able to decipher, problem solve, seek solutions, share ideas and uh, fill me with my drug. And the thing is, Well, it didn't happen. I lost my fair £650 because it was uh, cheaper as it was a non-refundable flight and I had uh, no intention of not going. No intention at all. <sighs> Hey-ho. And I feel so sorry for those people uh, who were looking forward to the meeting as well. Anyway, I just want to let people know that um, YouTube, like anything else in this life, uh, can be spoilt, can be abused even. Um, and everything is not as it seems. And some people are just interested in them in themselves. They they just want what they want and they don't really care who they tread on or who they manipulate, whose vulnerabilities they toy with. And it's not their fault. It is not their fault at all. It's the way society is set up. This uh, isolation, this separateness from each other. Yeah, you need to be careful. And uh, if anybody sends you a personal message that was written by another who has no idea that their trust in the word personal is being betrayed, I wouldn't read it. Honestly, I wouldn't read it. 
and I would think to myself, who is this person that I'm communicating with who can take the thoughts and words written by someone in a particular moment when they were feeling a particular way and uh, just send them off willy-nilly to whoever. I would think, is this a person that uh, deserves my, uh, my loyalty, my trust and respect? Anyway, that's all I really want to say about that. Uh, the people will know. Uh, who I'm talking about. Uh, the people that I really wanted to be with. I just, seriously, it was like some magical fantasy to me to actually be able to support and help one person and uh, spend time enjoying being with their children and taking them out and playing and letting the kids who have worked so hard to support their mother and family to take them places and do things with them and show them magic and then in the evenings to be able to sit with this group of adults who also adore language and just <laughs> gorge myself on it story time oh And uh, it hasn't happened. Just be careful on YouTube, people. It's not what it's all made out to be. Really. And just think to yourself, if anybody shares a personal message with you, it's seriously. You know, I mean, okay, it's a bit different if it's some... A troll that is sending something horrible and abusive and you know you need to share that with someone it's like what am I going to do look what they've written to me blah 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 but when it is someone at their most vulnerable opening their heart oh my god that is despicable anyway uh, Let's say hello. Hello, guys. Uh, no hat. And he's got a lovely pink ball. And, um, I'm really sorry to those people, seriously. I am so, so sorry. I'm so, so sorry to Mustaf. I'm sorry on so many levels, but sorry is really an afterthought. Do you understand what I mean? Because we've already done it. And the sorry is kind of a... Uh, well, it is. It's an afterthought. It's a word that we should never really use. I mean, there's accidental things you can do that merit a sorry, like stand on someone's foot or let a door drop in someone's face uh, rather than holding it open and, and a sorry then is kind of oops you know I really didn't mean that but this sorry feels more like an afterthought those people should have been in my minds and in fact they were they were in my minds and they still are uh, what do you think, honey, eh? I trust her with my life. And it takes me back to... I don't know. Oh, look. Let's walk on these. Oh, they feel beautiful, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it takes me back to childhood and trusting the wrong people and 
you know I take things literally it's all part of the autism you know I don't know I have uh, a similar relationship with people um, I'm, I'm I'm not saying I'm different from other people even though everybody has always told me that um, but then again I am and uh, I've always been told, you're too trusting, you're too this, you're too that. Well, hey, you know, that it's who I am. And I have suffered, I tell you. Seriously, guys. I have suffered big time for who I am in the past. Um, yes. I'm one of those people. Uh, I sure am. And uh, any of those people who are like me will know exactly what I'm saying. Anyway, I think I'm going to go. I don't even know what this uh, video was about, really. I felt I just needed to say what I needed to say. And uh, get it off my chest, I suppose. Um... I haven't even been able to talk to one of the people I was meant to be seeing and uh, I wanted to see her so much. She reminds me an awful lot <laughs> of myself um, and I just had these visions of, I don't know, just laughing and being and and getting to know that that I already knew really uh, hey ho uh, this video probably won't make a lot of sense to a lot of people uh, it might not even make any sense to me when I listen to it back but um Sometimes life doesn't make any sense. Most of the time it doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, whoa, -ho. that was a big slip. Uh, time for me to go. So, from my muddy feet, Honey and Abby are who are over there. Keep looking up, guys. It really is the only way to look. Even when you feel down, like I am feeling down. I am feeling down. I am, there's part of me that wants to grab someone by the throat and shake them and just say, what on earth were you playing at? You know, why did you do this? And then there's another part of me that thinks, you don't need to question and you don't need to ask because everything happens exactly as it's meant to and although you don't understand this now Rose maybe in a month or a year or ten years it will all become apparent exactly why it happened so remember enjoy life live it even when you're feeling down. And uh, I will write a letter to that little girl and send it back. And I feel so sorry that a group of bloody adults have ended up hurting children. And uh, I... Uh, accept my part in that and um, that's it that's all I can say okay uh, love you all 
Yeah, see the wind blowing in the trees, taking my words and my thoughts and carrying them to who knows where. You're going to get your ball, honey, and we can go. Yeah, let's go. My toes are cold now. You're going to get your ball, honey. She says, I will when you start walking. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.